lots to like. Um, you know, checked a bunch of boxes when it comes to like our competitiveness and the and as hard the hard defending was good. You know, we tried to get above pucks. We we most of the scoring chances. We, I think we had some turnovers, lack of execution, especially early and a little bit into the second. Um, but we defended hard. And we were committed to our defending game. Won the special teams battle. Goaltender was fantastic. I mean, you check those three boxes for our team, it usually leads to success. So there's a, there's a lot to like there for sure. Your ability to lock things down after letting the goal first shot of change. Yeah. I, I just thought, I thought he was excellent tonight. That, that's one of the best games I've seen him play in a long time. I thought, they, again, we made some mistakes. They earned some chances, and we made some mistakes on uh, – with execution, we sent him the wrong way a couple times with really good numbers. Um, I don't know how many chances we gave up, but the ones we gave up were really good chances. You know, we earned some of our own. The difference tonight is we've been having trouble scoring, and we capitalized on our chances tonight. And and Gorgi made a bunch of big saves. You know, like that's that's a huge difference to keep us playing with the lead. And we got some timely goals. So, I mean, I thought as the game went on, he even got better and better. Better play with the puck. Um, just looked like really in control of everything. Yep. Nice to see those guys that, I mean, yeah, I, I'd have to look at the stats on it, but when our fourth line produces and they even chip in one goal, I'm sure our record's really good. And tonight they got two. That line, you know, right out of the gate, they get two big goals early in the in the hockey game, first half of the hockey game, and and they checked well and played the whole night. And I mean, I thought they did an excellent job. They kind of got it started for us. It's uh, uh, he understands the importance of the structure of our game and the habits that you have to play with in order to have success and have longevity with that success. So, I mean, the, he's going to make mistakes here and there, but the the he's in, he's rarely messes up on the structure of your game and the tactical play of your game. Um, he checks hard. His habits are really good. He's always fighting to get above Pox. He's always on the D side of things. And you, when you get a line that plays like that together and they understand the importance of it and the detail that goes into it and the preparation that goes into that detail, then they'll start to have success. And that line, that line's starting to come on. Like They had a great night tonight, really did. So the schedule is game day off, game day off for like a month. I like that rhythm for our team, yeah. Because you get, you start going on the road and playing four and six and things like that, it's it exhausts you. Not just for that road trip if you survive it, but then coming home or doing whatever. And uh, yeah, so like I mean, we've hammered out those tough road trips. You know, we didn't have a great road trip the last one, but. Every team's going to go through those types of trips, right? You have three or four of them every year um, that are long and tough and travel and getting in late. And and then, you know, at some point you get rewarded for, you know, that schedule you get the every second day, lots of home games, et cetera. So I like the way our schedule sets up. We've gone through the toughest part of it, not opponent-wise, but just, um, you know, when it comes to playing two and three nights or three and four nights or or three and, you know, whatever, just like a really busy schedule. I like our team being able to play, recover. We can get some practices in. We can have some optionals. We can give some days off and then just keep focusing on the next opponent. So it works out well for us. I'm sure most of the coaches like it as well. Some of the presents 29 straight on the games for a point for the lead that went for Nate. I mean, do you and I kind of superlatives for him and what he's done? And I don't want to expect that, but it's, Stat. Yeah, no, it, it is remarkable. We've talked about that. I, I just think it's this the consistency that he's playing with on a nightly basis. And I'll and I'll say this: like he was, he was incredible tonight. But he, I thought his checking game tonight, the detail in which he played with on the defensive side of the puck, led to a lot of offense. 
I thought our team was really good at getting back and protecting the house. And it's like, this is a team that throws a lot of pucks into the mixer in the net front, and they're really successful at doing it. And, you know, that's how they got their first goal, a low attack and then throw it into the net front. We were loose on our coverage. Um, and that's a big challenge uh, usually for our team against Dallas. But we had numbers in there all night. We came up with a – even when we had a breakdown, we came up with a lot of those rebounds tonight so there wasn't secondary opportunities. That's important. And Mac was a big part of that, arriving down in D-zone coverage, um, working all the way back, goal line to goal line. You know, he kind of set the example for that. The rest of our team followed suit. Yeah, I mean, for us, probably really important because they're on a back-to-back, -back, right? So being able to play them five on five and not getting into some sort of special teams war, obviously they're top top ten in both special teams and ours have been struggling here a little bit lately. Um, so to have it more of a five on five game and then still win the special teams battle, I thought was a great step forward for our PP and our PK. Um, five on five again was committed. So yeah, I liked the way the, the flow of the game went tonight. Your last ones, Megan. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. It's hard because we've been working on it. So, you know, we talk about things and we like improvement in the game, but something else maybe isn't as sharp. You know, it could be our entries, could be our puck battles. It's you, you, there's there's five or six different things that they talk about all the time and 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 really to be successful in the power play it has to they all have to click so you know i can't really pinpoint one thing tonight but you know we were on pucks quickly some good decisions i thought you know even the power play we goal we got you know we kind of kicked it around for a little bit and then came up and made you know great pass by miko Great execution by Drew Ann to find Lekin in. I mean, it's not your typical power play goal, but it was well executed, and they, they saw the opening and they took advantage of it. So really, execution and and you know just some very skilled players making a play, and that's sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah. What does that say about his talent that he's able to do that this quickly? Yeah. I mean, when I saw that the other day that he tied Tyson Berry and I was just like thinking about his age and how much hockey yet he still has in front of him to be able to, you know, it's a pretty good franchise. They've had some pretty good defensemen play here for long periods of time. Um, and to, so to be at the top of the list already, that's pretty impressive. I mean, because he's got so much hockey left to be played and probably his best hockey yet to be played. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's just because like you, he. What did he go six games without a point, right? And not from lack of effort or lack of commitment or determination. It just some, you know, I think you play long enough, you're going to run into some of those streaks. He probably hasn't hit. Or I'm, I'm guessing that I don't remember him hitting one like that um, since he's been here. Um, but that's just again, I said it this morning. That's just a blip on the radar, you know. It's fighting the puck a couple of games and then getting in your head for a couple of games and then working your way out of it. You know, it's going to happen. Uh, I expect him to to be able to continue on the pace that he's been playing at, you know, for the, his first handful of years in the league. Thanks, Jared. Yep, thank you.